Hello everybody, and welcome to game number three in uh, this season of Rebel G-Man 4. This is a replay because my laptop was rubbish and my internet was rubbish, so I couldn't stream it very well. So I'm just going to do replays for the first seven matches. Um, this one, I was had TV advantage against Thurnlow's Kemry team. He had a wizard and a babe and a bribe and a star player. Chainsaw guy, um, so you know, and he's got mighty blow, mighty blow, mighty blow, three mighty, four mighty blow players, a chainsaw, a dirty player. It's a very scary team, thirteen total, two dirty players. He's got, um, so a very very scary team. He won the toss. Um, I don't know if you can see there, but obviously I would have I would have not chosen to kick. So he won the toss, and he had and there was sweltering heat, which could be a factor. I had, I had to bench the two movement guys uh, so that the dirty player can start on the pitch. Because you never know what might happen. Yeah, this is tricky, isn't it? This is this like all matches. It's going to be tricky if uh, if I don't get the claw breaks. But especially with the fouls that you can get coming in here is uh, pretty pretty. Uh, Pretty scary. Wow, farming passes against me. What a dirty Dino. What a dirty Dino. Uses the reroll on it as well. Outrageous. Outrageous. Farming passes with his two. And oh, there you go. <laughs> so 75, he, he leaves me there a 97.5% knockdown or whatever and fail it. So that's good, isn't it? That was good. I was happy about that. Um, I didn't want to pile on, which is why I blissed with the... Uh, well, first of all, he, I had to have him, didn't I? Because he was strength 5 there, because he was protected by the guard. So I had to blitz with him, and I wasn't, wouldn't have piled on anyway because of the dirty player. So I made the dodge out, so that was that was lucky, but very sad that I didn't just cas him straight. Well, not cas him, but good chance to break AV, wasn't it? At least knock him down. Maybe I should have just gone for that Tomb Guardian. I don't know. Looking back, I like going for the Tomb Guardian, but at the time, I thought, that's good odds to knock him over, isn't it? Very good odds to knock him over. And the saw, you know, whenever I use a saw, he gets knocked, <laughs> he would have been knocked over. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and that's it, isn't it? It's dicey, isn't it? I think it's a fair, it's a fair to use a, a saw if you don't think you've got much chance apart from dicing the living shit out of somebody. And uh, if he thought he had no chance apart from the dice, the shit out of me, then that's what I think the saw's a good choice. But I think that's what you need. I, I hate saws because they're so, it's just pure, pure luck, isn't it? Saws. I really don't like them. But they can always roll well, so I, I do like to try and take them out every chance I get. a stun and he's protected him pretty well hasn't he though I could have 2D'd him again if he had knocked him out classic dodge fail into not not a removal unbelievable Yeah, with two assists there, but uh, you know this way he's exposing the saw. With, I don't know. So yeah, went for a three dice blitz because again, I guess I was scared to pile on. Well, I, no, I didn't want to follow into the tomb guardian right and get a cas. That would be very bad. And don't don't want to pile on anyway, really. I mean, he's got the dirty player. He wants the dirty player on the pitch to foul to foul the warriors, doesn't he? Uh, he wants to foul the claw palm or a good player. He doesn't want to foul the bad players with a dirty player in case he gets sent off. So I can, I, I agree with him fouling with a sword. To be honest, more chance of a armor break, and then uh, he's saving the DPS for when he, when a good player goes down. You know, I think this isn't too bad for me here because they are Kemri, aren't they? So, you know, got some players back. Only one player down. 
can maybe try and defend the score at this point. There's, I'm thinking now, I think, obviously, the winning the attrition game, that dream has died already. <laughs> and stopping the score is pretty much, well, turning him over, the dream has died. There's, there's a chance of... Uh, of stopping him here if I, if I like go more elfy, which which chaos can go a bit elfy, can't they? Whereas Nurgle can't. He follows the armor nine guy. Good use of a saw. He gets it because it was a saw and gets a KO. So yeah, that's pretty rough for me. Hit him again. And power him this time. And don't... Oh! Only get a stun. Oh. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to break AV then. I'm going in hard on these Tomb Guardians. Just to get, just to get a two dice block. For a push. <laughs> Brilliant. That was a bit that was a bit crap that wasn't it? I don't know why I did that. That seems that seems really stupid. I feel like I should not have done that. I feel like I should have blitzed him and then just kept back and try to stop the score. Looking back, I really I really hate that play. I still had a decent chance to stop the score, I think. That was weird. Didn't like that at all. Bad play, Jim. Maybe I thought I could I could tempt him down there and then close the door, but I don't see how I can close the door here. I mean, chase cam, but with it being a replay. So that was I don't like that commitment of men. I think if I blitzed up there, I could have I could have stopped him scoring. Maybe I just gave up and stopped him the score and thought maybe I'll try and just hurt a team guardian. Maybe that's why I, I just gave up and. And stopping the score. But looking back, I feel like stopping the score isn't too crazy. This is a dodge and two G if I to hit the ball here, isn't it? I of course probably didn't go for that, but I could have done. Dodge two G if I to hit the ball. That might have been the play. Might have been the play. But again I had I was out of position over here. I don't I really don't like that turn. In retrospect, also rolling pushes doesn't doesn't help. Well, claw bombing decay is not is not an advantage, is it? Because the decay doesn't matter. It's at it, it all, so it's not like I've got more chance of removing them. Obviously, if you remove the the mighty blow strength five guys, the strength five mighty blow guard guys are good to remove because they're good players, aren't they? So I guess that's what I was trying to just remove his best players to give me a decent chance. Oh, really hurt not having block on the claw pommer there. Burnt a reroll and then took the board down anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I was out of position. That was, that was weird. That was really weird that I did that. I don't know why I did that. Really don't know why I did that, looking back. I think I definitely, definitely misplayed that turn when I moved everyone down there. If you survived, oh, I didn't survive. <laughs> it's a removal as well. I mean, it's fair enough, and he's got mighty blow, probably. Yeah, he's got mighty blow. And, you know, Beastmen are only armor 8, so this is four players out now. On defense, which you know it is now. I've probably given up. I think now it's fair to give up scoring. Um, four players KO, and a guy stunned. And a Kaz. <laughs> Brilliant. So, so now we've got six players on the pitch, and one of them stunned. So now I think it's definitely the game is. Pass me by now. I can't stop him scoring this drive at all. Now I've just got to try and keep my players alive. But I, I do think I misplayed a couple of turns before. I think I should have kept everyone back. 
uh, but didn't. So now I get to hit him again. And get the AV break. And only a stun. I don't know why I followed there. Maybe so I could do this one dice into a double skull. Brilliant. But I probably shouldn't have followed there, should I? So that I wouldn't give away a mighty blow hit. I probably should have just not followed. But I guess it was to. It was so I could do the one D, I guess. I guess that was the thing. Yeah, he has, he's made a bunch of fouls. He hasn't got caught on one foul at all, has he? Only a 2D there. Surely could have made it a 3D. Oh, no, it was strength 4. He couldn't. <laughs> ah, had another guy gone. <laughs> so now he's getting a bit silly. Five kills and a cast in six turns. I mean, how how do I stop the score here with three, <laughs> three players vaguely near the ball? It's just lie down and get fouled by a dirty player now, I think, for the rest of the half. The rookie blitzes. Runs back. I'm trying, I'm trying. No, I'm not. <laughs> Why did I go there? He can blitz me into an extra hit. That was a really weird place to stand. Maybe I was still hoping that um, something would happen. Another removal. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Seven guys off the pitch. Four, four players left. Yeah. And I, uh, I removed nobody. But I do think I didn't play well that turn when I put everyone down there. I think I could have played better. I don't think I could have played better. I mean, you can always play better, can't you? But I didn't like it personally, my play on that turn. Fouling with a saw again. Cutting his leg off there. Brutal. Imagine, imagine if someone half sawed your leg off and you're only stunned. So yeah, unsurprising I couldn't stop the score there with four players left on the pitch. I don't feel too much shame in, in conceding that touchdown. The dice were pretty crazy. But yeah, I do think I could have defended better. Um, the good thing is, at least because I've only got four players on the pitch. Oh no, this is bad because it means there's less, there, there's less heat for me and more heat for him, which is good for him. Because in the second half... He wants the uh, he wants the heat players, doesn't he? Like he wants people to fail heat, so he doesn't have to field them um, for the next one. I'm surprised he used the bribe there because he had to put him on the pitch. That was a mistake, wasn't it? That was an absolute mistake there using the bribe. He mustn't have seen his guys, or he mustn't have known how many guys were off when he did the bribe. That was a very strange bribe. Must have just not have seen his players off the pitch. That's the, that's what I'm gonna go, go with. Yeah, he could have put him in the LOS once he'd done that. Me coaching. Will we be able to get a touchdown? I mean, got got all the players back now. To be fair, the KOs recovered mostly. I had two reserves as well, so there's a chance of eleven players for the second half. There's a cheeky Kaz. He regens. It just saves him a sweltering heat roll. <laughs> I thought I was going for the one turn, but I didn't have 11 players, and he set up wide, hadn't he? So. Might as well just try to hurt things. You never know. Might have an effect. Get the completion here. Try try to get the completion again the thirty one. I 
And that works. Glorious level up. Yeah, Kemri are really tricky for Chaos because the yeah the, the skeletons are rubbish so you don't want to pile on them. And they've got a thick skull as well. So they're hard to remove. They can regen. They're really... I mean, skeletons are the perfect anti-clawpon player, aren't they? And then Hack gets sent off. Yeah, that was, that was a strange use of a bribe on him if he wasn't just going to put him on the LOS to get punched. So it's still he, he failed one Tomb Guardian. I failed my Strength 4 Garda. Um, so... How do I get rid of that? What's that? Seven, eight, nine players. Yeah, nine players versus 11. So that's a tricky, tricky situation. Nine versus 11. But I mean, it could, I guess it's good that he's down a Tomb Guardian, but it was, a, it was the rookie Tomb Guardian. And he's still got 11 versus 9. Oh, glorious catch of the kickoff. Very nice. There's still a chance just to tee off here, isn't there? You never know. Didn't follow on pile there? Because again, you, you just don't want to pile on skeletons. That's the thing. You really don't want to pile on skeletons because they're just garbage. Oh, I don't like that. I could have done this 2D first, then 3D'd him out of the knockdown. I don't know why I did that one first. Could have done this 2 dice block and then make that a 3. Oh, because my, my idea was to do it the other way around. Okay. But still, I still think it's better to do it the other way. Hey, would have been double skulls. <laughs> yeah, because then I could have pushed him here and then blitzed him. So that was that was bad not doing that block first. I guess I got to hit a dirty player, but still. Still don't like leaving him in contact where he didn't have to be. Couple of stuns. Still no removals, though. Into a Kaz. <laughs> Now it's 8 versus 11. <laughs> you can imagine how happy I was at this point in time. Very happy about how this game's going. Not. I mean, I'm reluctant to call it a dicing, but it's it's getting there, isn't it? It's getting there at this point. Push that guy. Pull the dirty player. I guess I'll pile on him because I can't really get fouled from there. And no AV break. <laughs> and no AV break. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> But the good thing is, he's Kemri, isn't he? So he's not the fastest team in the world, not the most agile team in the world. So you're telling me there's a chance. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, eight players, seven standing. And do have those movement up, guys. The plus movement fagors might be able to do something. And yeah, obviously, if, if if the claw pump works and removes a few Tomb Guardians, it gets really bad for him. But if he plays well and protects them, it's not easy to hit the Tomb Guardians. And then obviously, if you do hit them, you might not kill them. But um, yeah, they're... obviously, it can go very, very badly for the for the for the Kemri as well. And he's still got the Wizard as well. Remember, he's still got a Wizard in his back pocket. So not only is he one nil up, he's got a Wizard in hand against eight eight uh, Chaos players. No AV break, thanks God.
So I finally get the hit of Tomb Guardian here with Claw Pom. Obviously going for the pylon. And got a removal! Yay! Alright! Actual removal. Unbelievable. So I can't really go anywhere though. But at least at least I got to punch a punch a tomb guardian out. Bit surprising though, isn't it? He could have uh, he could have got guarded the two D him that way, you know. But he could have just blocked him, but gets another cast. <laughs> <laughs> I would have liked putting the putting the Tomb Guardian there and just blocking him with a skeleton and then he could have blitzed the dirty player, couldn't he? Could have got an extra block for himself there. But just makes another Kaz instead. So now we're, we're on three Kaz, two KOs, and a Heat Exhaustion. And he gets sent off for a Gym Foul. And now that guy would have not been sent off had he saved his bribe. So that was a real, real mistake, not saving his bribe there. He finally gets sent off after about 10 fouls. <laughs> and also, he's left this a bit open, isn't he? There could be a switch on here or a push down the side. I don't know, I don't know what happened. I don't know what would be the best way of doing it. It is going to be a bit of a switch by the looks of things. I mean, I'm really desperate here, aren't I? With a wizard as well. Holy shit, it's it's a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. So I've got to think about the wizard all the time and try and kind of double screen if I can. So that's that's why this guy's here. So it's a double screen. So if he if he bolts, he can't get through, can he? So I was I was trying to play around. I mean, I've got fucking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players on the pitch. And trying to play around a wizard. <laughs> it's, it's not easy. <laughs> not easy at all. Another knockdown. And another AV break. <laughs> I thought in the cold light of day this might not look such a bad match, but it's looking it's looking pretty bad, isn't it? I think this is a pretty, pretty unlucky match. But he didn't do, get in the way a lot here, did he? He really didn't get in the way a lot. He's letting me get a few players forward here, potentially. Or switch back. Switch back. Oh, clever dingo. Yes, get a hit with Claw Mighty as well. Won't pile on here because we want to screen. And then, yeah, get this guy out. And there's a screen there, isn't there? That was, that was a nice move. That was a nice move by Jim there. Five players <laughs> make a bit of a screen. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> and he's a bit too far away to use his bolt, isn't he? I think I think maybe he could have defended better. Uh, but you know, I could have defended better first half for sure. Finally, not a not a knockdown into a into an AV break. Unbelievable, Jeff. Not in scoring range, though, am I? So I'll definitely want to get him into scoring range next turn, so that at least, at least if I can score, Kemri might not be able to score, might they? Just because they're Kemri at the end of the day, they are slow. There you go, another one gone. <laughs> Seven out at the moment, so six on the pitch. So yeah, get him into a double... Oh no, I just go for the handoff. Oh wow. 
Handoff double GFI score. Outrageous. I think I would I would expected a sideline cage there. I'm surprised I didn't sideline cage, but I didn't. I got the touchdown. Fair enough. And I only had six players on the pitch, didn't I? So unlikely to suffer from heat here. I still lost one to Heat. None of the KOs came back. He got hammered by Heat though. So that was that was something good. But six players to stop a Kemry three turn. I think I should have I think I should have tried to stall another turn there, to be fair. Um I think I should have I think I should have... Oh, but the wizard, he had the wizard. That's why I scored. He had the wizard. If I tried to stall another turn, I was probably thinking about the wizard then, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I was probably thinking of the wizard. I don't know how the hell I'm going to stop him scoring in three turns. Um, with six players on the pitch. But you never know. I'll try. And, uh, and the ball's in the end zone there. So, I mean, this could be a great kick, or it could be the worst kick. Guess which one? Of course it's the worst kick. And I mean, that could have been incredible. If that had been in the end zone there, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, it would have been really hard for him to get the touchdown. But instead, he gets to give it to his guy, and he's off. Um, yeah, he did He did only have three Tomb Guardians all match. One was missed next game. I mean, incredible lucky with a missing... Him failing four was really lucky for me, wasn't it? But I still fail one out of six anyway. If you just hadn't got that touchback, it would have been um, it would have been all right, I think. Is this worth trying to go like a four plus four plus? One, two, three, four. <laughs> five G if I something. One, two, three, four, five. No, I can't go that way. I must surely just blitz this Skellington and base the ball. I mean, that's not bad, is it? He's Camry. He does have the wizard, though, so he can bolt one of these. Oh. But he can't, he can't. But they're both strength four, though, and that was a nifty little dodge from the warrior there. So this is this is tricky for him still. He fails the the bolt rolls a one, glorious. Glorious bolt fail. Break tackle blitz for the chain out. Yeah, but I had to double base him for the because uh, he was going to bolt one, didn't I? So I had to double base him like that. Doesn't get the knockdown, so he's got a dodge. We've both got four rerolls, but <laughs> didn't reroll anything up till now. He makes his three plus dodge. He can't score though. He could only one dice block because I'm strength four, so block blocking him wasn't so good. He could base and he can dodge to blitz, can't he? The strength four guy can just dodge to blitz. Make the dodge. Fail the GFI. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I felt pretty hard done by to draw this match to be honest I had to lose this match I thought I thought I was hard done by to draw it because I thought I, I thought I got diced to death in this game to tell you the truth you know I finished both halves without four players on the pitch um, 
you know, failed the three plus two plus to get two D on the ball on the last turn after not using any re rolls all half. Took more AV breaks. Uh, still out blocked him despite being men down for the entirety of the match. <laughs> The KOs never came back, so they're like three KOs never came back, so they were like three cards, so it was basically five cards. And uh, yeah, and then in even then, you know, the score was a bit. Uh... Yeah, and it was, you know, that you got the touchback as well that made it so much easier. So 25, 22, 25, he, got, he had basically, you know, average blocking dice. And. Uh, you know, average, average everything, probably, I don't know. The dice log's a bit. Pointless, isn't it? Wake up after KOs, 28%. Not what you need, really. Um, GFI, <laughs> crucial one there. I mean, I was lucky that his bolt failed. 24, 28, 24, so a few pushes. So, yeah, that was the match. It was, uh, you know, I mean, Thurnlow played well enough, didn't he? You know, it's not like, I'm not saying that he didn't deserve to win or anything, but uh, yeah, no, took no damage, which is good. Uh, despite all the cards and the KOs, you know, didn't take any damage. And it was it was it was an exciting match, but I did feel obviously a, a little bit. I felt a little bit unlucky there to lose that one. I would have felt a bit unlucky to draw it, but, um, <laughs> but there you go. Right, th thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.